I mean, there's so many different things. They learned a lot about different areas, so yeah, very good. Northern Minnesota's largest women's expo is back in Bemidji and better than ever. The variety of different vendors, classes, and sessions all catering to women. It was one uh, a number of years ago, and uh, we really love the concept and love the idea of women getting together and, uh, you know, experiencing um, women businesses. This year, the goal of the expo was to empower and inspire women. There were self-defense classes, massages, and appearances from women like Olympian Gigi Marvin and Chef Amy Thielen. This year, the expo also gave back by partnering with local nonprofits like the United Way of Bemidji and Hands of Action International. Many of the businesses featured at the expo were also women-owned. It really wasn't a lot of us picking, it was the vendors picking us. You know, we put it out there that we were going to do this and we were looking for vendors and we had calls and emails, uh, you know, right away. The Women's Expo had a lot of things to offer today. You can find new recipes and food advice. There's also health advice from Sanford. And of course you can find new ways to work out. And we have vendors ranging from Mary Kay to Tupperware to um, Itasca Leather Goods. This is the first Women's Expo so you never have any idea uh, how it's going to do but the crowds have been good and we've made contact with so many people so we've had a lot of good exposure and some sales and that's all a good thing. There aren't any official numbers but the turnout for the event was pretty large especially with the Minnesota fishing opener happening on the same weekend. For some that made it even more of a reason to attend. I would definitely come back. I like it on this weekend because my husband's fishing. A great opportunity for me to do something. Now with the comeback year out of the way, it's safe to say that Northern Minnesota's Women's Expo is here to stay. Next year, the goal is to make the show even bigger. We've got lots of ideas uh, in the works for next year, so everybody will just have to stay tuned and see what we can bring up. Reporting in Bemidji with this week's Community Spotlight, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.